advancing into the city. He will, he will go right now. We joined these Kurdish dead forces as they put pressure on the Islamic State group. Backed by U.S. air power, they have slowly surrounded Mandish and are closing in. We are told to take cover. I.S. know where we are. Mortar fire could come soon. The Syrian Democratic Forces are advancing into Minbij city from the south. And as you can see here, the fight against the Islamic State group is street by street and house by house. IS are not giving up easily. Located close to the Turkey border, this city has been a key meeting point for its foreign fighters. Half the city has fled and now live homeless on its edges. For three days, thousands of them have queued for bread, but there is no bread here. We fled IS 10 days ago. We're lucky to survive as bombs were flying over our heads. Since then, we haven't received a single piece of bread. We're exhausted. A rumor about a rare food delivery sparks a race across town. Off camera, many of these people told us they were better off under Islamic State control. The Kurdish led forces are in danger of losing their support. Where is the world? Where is humanity? Look at our situation. Children, women, elderly, we've all been here since dawn. Where can we go? What can we do? Despite this, these people are fortunate. 25,000 civilians are still trapped inside Manbij at the mercy of coalition airstrikes. This released footage is the image of their air campaign the coalition want to give, precise, clinical. But the reality can often be very different. In the last couple of days, it's been reported that around 100 civilians have been killed by Western bombs. Despite that, the weight of airstrikes is taking its toll on IS. Losing men on ground, they are slowly being defeated across Syria and Iraq. But this has pushed them to launch attacks across the world. And they are much harder to defend against. Firas Kidani, BBC News, Manbij, Northern Syria.